Much of the thrust of my previous few videos has been along the lines of just how ignorant are we? In other words, I think we all understand that, that our knowledge has limitations. But I would sort of expand on that and say, how ignorant are we? How much do we not know that uh, is something that would completely alter the way that we now think? If we did know it. In other words, how ignorant are we? In what degree of darkness or light are we? Well, again, I hate to say this, but um, in my opinion, we don't know. We don't know whether or not we're relatively ignorant or relatively smart. Um, the people that say that we've sort of gone beyond reasonable doubt in terms of what we know, I would assume would say that um, who think that we've more or less figured this whole thing out, or at least figured out enough to make very sweeping generalizations. I'm of the ilk that says we don't know enough to make sweeping generalizations or to have sweeping prescriptions for the human condition, whatever that's supposed to mean. But, um, you know, in other words, things like um, a scientific type of government or scientific management of society, um, say, uh, oh, antinatalism, that kind of thing. Um, that kind of thing says that we know enough to make some pretty major decisions on everything. Um, whereas I say we don't know enough essentially to make any major decisions on anything. Now, that's more or less just two people groping in the dark with different assessments of the level of our ignorance. I don't really think that there's any way for one side or the other to prove the other one wrong as things now stand. Um, having said that, <clears throat> we still exist in this plane of existence. We're, we're still here. Things have to be done. I just drank a cup of coffee because without it I have trouble waking up in the morning. I've got to go to work soon. Um, just because you are fundamentally skeptical of things doesn't mean that you advocate um, just sitting there and doing nothing. I won't say that that's an improper lifestyle choice for someone who might want to do that. Um, but I don't advocate that. This is certainly not a despair-inducing sort of um, point of view. The fact that there are limits to what we know and we don't even know what the limits are. We can't even measure our own ignorance. That's not really the point. Essentially the point that I'm trying to make is, I guess, an ethical one. Um, it's the old uh, Dandamis. Uh, do not condemn the judgment of, of another because it differs from your own. You may both be wrong. Um, it's, uh, you know, I, I was it Mark Twain who supposedly said that as well? But um, it's an interesting thing to think about. How do we measure our ignorance? How do we measure how much we don't know. Um, I don't think that we do have any means of measuring our own ignorance because we don't have all the facts before us to say there's this much to be known and we know this much therefore we're in ignorance. Well, okay. Uh, that would be nice but I suppose we would, uh, wouldn't even need to ask that question anymore if we knew how much there was to be known. It's not really a question of debunking science. I'm not making that case at all. A lot of people seem to read into that, that that's what I'm trying to do, or that I'm trying to prove that God exists or something like that. No, I'm not. Um, whenever I say something, a few people have a tendency, I think, to leap a few moves ahead in what, I'm, what I've actually said. 
uh, to assume that this is where I'm going, where I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm just saying that um, in terms of us as a species or as a society or as individuals or whatever, it's very useful to understand the fact that we have no way to measure our absolute level of knowledge or our absolute level of ignorance. Thank you.